From Sicily to the streets of Queens, Italian ice has been a staple for cooling off during the summer heat for centuries. And one shop credited with bringing this frozen fruity treat to New York is the Lemon Ice King of Corona. Lemon Ice King has been a staple of this neighborhood for so long. I think the Lemon Ice King of Corona is Corona. That's creaming. Mm. It's got a lot of flavor. It is delicious. It is so good. You have to come to Corona and get some. But what is it that makes the Lemon Ice King so legendary? We headed out to Corona Queens to speak with the current owners about the history of the crowd favorite institution and learn how the shop has survived for 75 years selling its beloved Italian ice. The Lemon Ice King of Corona began in 1944 when Nicola Benfaremo began churning and selling ice out of his garage in a largely Italian neighborhood. Nicola's son Peter partnered up with his father to open up a storefront in 1964, just in time for the New York World's Fair in Flushing Meadows Corona Park, which attracted more than 51 million people around the globe. Everyone is coming to the New York World's Fair. The real Lemon Ice King started here through Peter Benferimo. You know, even though we gotta acknowledge his father, obviously. Yeah, he took it to the next level. Yeah. That's Mike Zampino and Vinny Barbachia the current owners of the Queens Institution. Pete, to me, was like my second father. Probably one of my best friends as well. An immigrant from Italy, Nicola made his ice the traditional way, using natural ingredients and actual pieces of fruit, like in Sicilian granita, a semi-frozen dessert with a sugar and water base. But what made the Benfaremo ice stand out was its creamy texture, which was unlike the coarse and crystalline versions of early Italian ice, and which they achieved without using any dairy. No dairy at all in any of the flavors. You assume like, yeah, it's a cream ice, you know, it's got milk in it, it's got what, dairy in it. No dairy in it, it's just our recipes that make the product turn out the way it does. Can't say nothing but the best. Always been eating it, and as you can see, still eating it. Saying we get a lot of input from like the neighborhood, where it used to be more like pistachio, lemon, orange, this more traditional Italian flavor, and that was what the neighborhood was. Now, as the neighborhood changes, we see we're selling more mango, pina colada, more of the tropical fruits. I'm here all the way from Ohio <laughs> to taste this. This is great. Overwhelmed by the praise, I couldn't wait to get my share of the iconic Benferremo Italian ice. Out of the 36 flavors, I decided to try their cult classic, peanut butter, which contains chunks of peanuts throughout. But first, their most popular flavor, the namesake, lemon ice. Lemon ice king. Lemon. Yes. Lemon is lemon. It comes in the form of a rose. All right, so here we go. This is truly amazing. On a humid day like this in New York City, this is exactly what I wanted to taste right now. This tastes like fresh lemons, but also it's sweet too. So if you're sweet tooth like me, you would love this. But if you're having Italian ice for the first time, you are gonna feel like kind of like prickles on your tongue, but they're refreshing prickles because it's just like the coldness of the ice that's really uh, so refreshing. Do you guys wanna try some? You're gonna have to come to Lemon Ice King. This is Lemon Ice King of Corona's newer flavor. It is the peanut butter ice. It's become a hit amongst the community and a lot of people around New York. So I'm really excited to try this out. This is the one that I saw on social media that people were raving about. So here you go. Mm -hmm. I really cannot believe that dairy is not in this because this tastes so smooth. And just like any peanut butter ice cream that I've had in the past, Again, whatever flavor you're, you're aiming at, you're gonna find that it's the best you've had. The 75-year-old recipe and larger window operation remain loyal to its owner and neighborhood, as Vinny and Mike continue to hire local kids to scoop out Italian ice. We're part of the, uh, the neighborhood. We, we grew up here, we grew up with the store. Guys, people that come up here, and now I grew up with these kids, now they're coming up with their kids, and it's like, you know, you realize how old you're getting, you know? But again, you, you realize the strength of the, the institution, if you will, right? That we're still here, still going strong, and hopefully we're here for another 100 years. Red Road. Here I go. You wanna try it out together? 
Okay, here we go. 